What is up everyone? How you doing today? My name is David DeFranco and welcome back to my gaming channel. What? Yes, my gaming channel. Guys, I have been a YouTuber for 15 plus years now, right? 15 plus years. That's a long time. That's a long time for anything, you know? Um, and I have never once... I mean, okay, now granted, this, this gaming channel has only been around for like a few months now, but I'm, I'm just so excited to say this is my first official of several, my first official unboxing of a physical product on this channel, my gaming channel. Hi, Zero. Zero, are you, are you, are you joining us for this momentous occasion? Say hi to Zero. <laughs> hi. All right, Zero, you're gonna, you're gonna have to get, dude, okay. Come on. Good boy, Merry Christmas. Yes, he's got a little cut on his head, it's still healing. He's fine. Anyway, guys, this is a very exciting occasion. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a lot in this video. This is not just a simple unboxing because, guys, let's face it, the PlayStation Five has been out for over a year, right? Uh, but it's a very hard to find console. Uh, so I have a few things to say. First of all, I did not buy this retail, and I'm not ashamed to say that. You know, I'm of the mentality that we're all gonna die someday. And while if you want something in life. You gotta go after, you know? Go for what you want in life. Whether it's a physical item like this or somebody in your life in terms of relationships or whatever. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get deep. But we only live once, you know? And we can't take money to the grave. So I'm just gonna say this. For those not aware, the PlayStation 4 Digital Edition, I'll talk about that in a moment, typically retails for four hundred dollars, which I don't think is crazy. You know, I, I don't think that's crazy. Now with that said, I do wish Sony had something like the Xbox Series S where they kind of strip some guts and maybe sell like a three hundred dollar version. And honestly, I can see that happening one day. Um, but for now, I'm very, very happy with this. Anyway, it retails for four hundred dollars, right? After eBay, and keep in mind, I went through several different auctions and buy it nows and sending offers and whatever. I finally found someone willing to accept my offer after going back and forth a few times. I spent about $800 after taxes and whatever, you know? So I quite literally paid double the retail price for this PlayStation 5. And sadly, I'm okay with that. You know, I'm okay with that because at this point, I was desperate for it. Um, and plus for those who watch my Christmas vlogs every year for the past three years, I like to treat myself to something. Uh, last year it was the Xbox Series X. Love my Series X. I'm definitely an Xbox guy, but I also love PlayStation. I've been a PlayStation user since PlayStation 1 days, you know? And then a year before that, I bought myself the iPhone 11 Pro Max, right? Yeah. So this year's gift to myself is the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. Okay, so let's talk about that for a moment and then I'll finally unbox a product. I went with digital, meaning this does not accept discs. This does not accept physical spinning media of any kind. And I can say with confidence, I made the right choice. You know, I've had these Series X for over a year now. And guys, not once in the last 12 months have I inserted a disc into that console. I just haven't felt the need. And it's actually funny I say that because an older video of mine all about the Nintendo Switch, I'm like, this is why I prefer physical games over digital. I don't want to download my games. I like owning my games. And yeah, it, it, it's, it's nice to buy games and put them on a shelf and look at them. And of course, sell them on eBay, you know, or let friends borrow your games. That's nice, you know? But me personally, as a big PC gamer, yeah, throughout the last three or four years, I have learned to appreciate a digital-only gaming experience. I don't like the idea of having to get off my couch. Yeah, call me lazy, I don't care. You know, just to switch games. That's, that's not fun to me. I like switching between games, um, you know, at a moment's notice. For instance, Halo Infinite. I'm playing so much Halo Infinite on my Xbox. But if I want to switch from that game to a game I recently downloaded on Game Pass, I can. Hi, Zero. All right, Zero, you're right. Okay, anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on the PlayStation 5 and why I went with the digital version. Um, now, with that said, there's a good chance this might go in the gaming room at some point, And maybe I will buy myself the optical drive version for my living room because this, ironically, yes, I'm unboxing it on my gaming channel, but this is not gonna be used for my gaming channel whatsoever, at least right now. Uh, this is purely a living room experience for me. Purely living room. Hi, Z. Okay, you're gonna have to get down, okay. Here we go, guys. PlayStation 5. Also, I will be unboxing this in a separate video. This is the dual, cha dual, 
the dual sense charging station. Uh, this I got at Target, the very last one. Yes, I actually bought something in person. Shocker, I know. And I got this from eBay as well. It was sold out on Amazon, uh, so I bought it on eBay for like, ironically, I think like $5 under retail, but after you factor in like taxes and whatever, yeah, I mean, I paid about the same as retail, which is great. But of course, like a day or two after I ordered this on eBay, Amazon had it in stock again, so wouldn't have made a difference. So Cosmic Red, I will be unboxing this in a separate video. Okay, with that said, let's unbox the PlayStation 5. I have yet to see a PlayStation 5 in person. Seriously, I, I, I just haven't seen it in person. I've seen pictures, I've seen videos. The console looks massive. So I'm very interested to see if it's as massive as it looks, you know, considering what I've seen online. So let's bust out my tiny knife and unbox the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. Now me being me, paranoid, and I guess you can't blame me, because I bought this on eBay, I did open the package briefly just to make sure, you know, what's in here is legit. Now, I haven't seen the console itself, but I did briefly take out the DualSense controller. Everything seems to have been packaged properly, and there was the usual PlayStation seal. But again, I was paranoid, and you guys, you can't blame me. There's a lot of scams going on. But the seller I bought this from actually previously sold a PlayStation 5, and that person, you know, the buyer of that seller, gave him positive feedback. So I think this is his second PS5 sale that he's made. So in other words, the guy was legit. He's got excellent feedback. So take that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind when buying anything like an Xbox Series X or a PlayStation 5 on eBay. Make sure you're buying from a reputable seller. Make sure they have good feedback. And always look at the feedback, you know? Make sure they're selling high ticket items like this. Make sure they're not only selling things like controllers and cables and adapters. Um, so. There you go. Anyway, let's finally unbox the console. And of course, I will link a, um, a timestamp right below saying, hey, click here for the actual unboxing. But I'm pretty sure most of you are subscribed to my main channel, which contains a ton of vlogs. So in other words, you're probably used to my talking, right? All right, here we go. And yes, the camera is very low today because this item, this, this box in general, it's just so damn big. All right, let's take this flap out, put this down, and let's do my best in capturing the moment. Okay, so that flap opens. We have a power cable. I actually bought myself an extra long power cable, the same one I bought for my Xbox Series X because this will be going on my shelf, which is not part of my entertainment center, because it's just a huge, huge, bulky console. So again, it will be going near my Xbox Series X. And guys, the power cable I bought for the Series X has been perfect, absolutely perfect. It's extra long. So uh, yeah, if you're like me and you want to put your console away from your TV, I'm gonna link the exact power cable I bought right below. And also, I bought a very long HDMI cable as well, so I'll be linking that below. Um, in addition. Okay, we also get a PlayStation 5 quick start guide. Grab a coffee, because I'm gonna read through this entire thing for you. I'm no, just kidding. All right, seriously. We have more documentation. Who reads this stuff? Seriously, does anybody actually read that? Maybe parents, you know, like really paranoid parents? Little Johnny, I don't want you creating a PlayStation account. Okay, I have yet to hold the dual sense. Now, of course, I took it out previously because, again, I wanted to make sure everything was legit, but I only did this. I didn't, like, actually hold the uh, controller. So this is the DualSense. I've heard it's dramatically different from previous controllers. Wow. It actually is noticeably heavier, but in a good way. <laughs> wow, okay. Yo, I'm so excited, guys, because I am fascinated by controller tech. This is coming from the guy who loved the first Rumble Pack on the Nintendo 64. Uh, it actually came with Star Fox 64 for me. And I fell in love with the Rumble Pack. And ever since then, I think the Nintendo 64 is what got me fascinated in controller designs and features and all that stuff. And apparently the haptic feedback and the adaptive triggers are phenomenal. Phenomenal. So I'm very, very, very excited to experience that for myself. So fitting in the hand, 
feels good, you know? I, I'm, I'm glad Sony is not afraid to create a fairly larger size controller because this is just my opinion. I think the Xbox controllers have always been better than the DualShock controllers. And that's not me hating on Sony. I love, I love PlayStation. I love the DualShock controller. It's a solid controller, you know? Um, but I do appreciate a larger controller design like this. We have larger handles, so it fits more comfortably in the hand. The D-pad feels great. Very clicky, but soft at the same time, not overly loud. That, 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 is, that is one thing I dislike about Xbox controllers. It, it's very comfortable, right? But the buttons are so loud. This, on the other hand, is a little quieter. Uh, one of these is the share button. I guess this is the share button right here, right? And this is the pause button or menu button or whatever we're calling it these days. L1, R1, L2, R2. Now, of course, I'm not feeling the adaptive triggers right now because I'm not playing a game. Uh, but I think with a game like Call of Duty Vanguard or Fortnite, I believe you pull this and then suddenly it clicks. Like you're pulling a trigger on a gun and you feel like the click. Like you, you feel the haptic feedback of whatever you're doing in the game. And this does come with Astro's Playroom or whatever it's called. Um, so I'm very, very excited to check that out. We have the PlayStation button right there. And yeah, let's see if it lights up. Actually, yeah, it's lighting up right now. Don't know if you can see that. It's very faded uh, because it's so bright in here right now. Yeah, there it is, uh, but very cool. We have a built-in microphone, which is pretty sweet. And I think that's a quick mute button right there. We got some contacts down there for accessories such as the DualSense charging station I bought myself. And of course we do have USB-C up top. Love me some USB-C. Very, very nice. So there you go, DualSense controller. Oh, and of course a touchpad, which is something I really, really enjoyed about the DualShock 4. I love that feature so much. Definitely one of my favorite features about that controller. So comfort wise, it feels really nice. Like it feels very, very nice. I'm not disappointed at all. Okay. What else do we have here? USB, um, this is not USB. HDMI cable, I will not be using that because again, I bought myself a super long cable. USB-C cable, very nice, that I will need. Well, actually I probably won't need it because I got the charging station, but it's always good to have more USB-C cables. This is the stand, which I hear is okay. Uh, yeah, I've seen in multiple videos on YouTube that if you place your PlayStation 5 horizontally, which I will be doing, and I just can't fit it in the shelf, you know? Then every time you go to like mess with the cable, the console will kind of wobble. Now, thankfully that should not be an issue for me because I'll just be using this to charge my controller. So in, in theory, I'm rarely going to have to touch the PlayStation 5. Set it and forget it. But it's, it's, it's still cool that they even give you a stand. Okay, finally to the granddaddy. This is the PlayStation 5. Please give me a moment, guys. I want to take this out properly. Actually, I'll probably lay it back down. Okay, it's looking good, guys. It's not a brick. It's not a fake auction. You know, it's not a fake eBay listing, I should say. I didn't, I didn't have my doubts, honestly. But you never know. You know, guys, this is, this is coming from the guy who bought fake Astro A50s before, or A40s, whatever it was. Um, that was a surprise, and that was from Amazon. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just saying, there are some very dishonest people out there. All right, here we go, the PlayStation 5. It's not overly huge yet. Maybe it's because it's in the wrapper still, but we'll see, you know? Like, it's not disappointingly big. <laughs> Let's see, here we go. PlayStation 5, baby. Oh, you're finally mine. It only took me a year. All right, so there it is. <laughs> it's pretty big, you know? It's not like, I don't know. I'm not disappointed. That's, that's, that's the best way I can explain. I, I guess because I've mentally prepared myself. You know, I, I've watched so many videos leading up to today because I was just so excited. And guys, I've had this in my possession for almost two weeks now, you know? Uh, but with Christmas being Christmas and me being very traditional and I having to edit videos. <laughs> Zero's pressing buttons on my iMac. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not disappointed by its size. You know, I, I, I guess I've built up the expectations. Um, but yeah, 
So not bad. So on the back here, we have two USB 3.0 ports, an Ethernet, which is always nice. I don't use that, but it's nice to have. Silence. Um, HDMI outs, and of course your power way down here. On the top side, we have the PlayStation logo, which is a really nice touch. It's, it's not just stamped on there, it's actually etched out, which is very nice. The plastic in general, not gonna lie, it doesn't have a premium feel to it. You know, I feel like they could have done a little more uh, with like a harder, thicker plastic, uh, but it is what it is. You're not gonna be touching your console. Okay, maybe I'll be touching a little bit. But still, it feels like the Xbox Series X. You know, it's not gonna blow your mind. It's not like an Apple product. It's not aluminum, it's plastic. Plastic is plastic. Not a bad thing. Um, obviously, they gotta cut back on cost somewhere because it is, this thing's a little pricey as it is, especially considering what I paid. USB-C ports on the front, which I don't think I even knew about. That's that's definitely nice to have on the front. And USB-A on the front as well. And the power button, which is a physical button. I was always mixed on touch sensitive buttons on the PlayStation 4, right? The PlayStation 4, yeah. Um, I don't know, I just always found myself fiddling with the buttons in the dark. I'm like, which one's power, which one's eject? So it, it is nice having one button. Now obviously, you might have two buttons if you have an optical drive. Me personally, I think this design looks better than the one with the optical drive. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's an amazing design not gonna lie, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's the best looking console. Um, I, I prefer more rectangular, square shaped designs. But this is very alien like, you know. It, it it looks cool. It looks cool. Anyway, getting to my point, because I don't have an optical drive, that means I get a symmetrical design. Whereas with the optical drive, you get like a like a bump out is the best way to explain it. On the top here, glossy plastic. On the bottom here, we've got some vents for ventilation. Um, and we got a bunch of logos or icons down there. And a very nice touch. I'm not gonna show you up close right now because I'm not using the proper camera right now, but I will find an image on Google Images. Uh, if you look closely, you can see the PlayStation symbols kind of patterned on the insides, which is a nice touch. There you go, very nice. Like overall first impressions, it's not as big as I thought it was gonna be. And that's a good thing. Build quality, again, could be a little better. You see this? It's kind of like bendy, cheap feeling plastic, but it's not a bad looking console. I'm just very picky, you know, very, very picky with design. But again, it's not a console you're gonna be touching. You're gonna put it down um, and you're gonna be playing games. And that's what matters at the end of the day. This, this console could look like a piece of poop for all I care, you know? Actually, that would be pretty cool. Like a poop emoji shaped console. Hey, I'd pay for that. I'd pay for that shit, you get it? Shit. But uh, yeah, what matters at the end of the day, are the uh, experiences from gaming to controller innovation. Uh, innovation. I'm so excited to uh, use this. Also, I don't think I looked at it horizontally yet. How do you do the stand? Does this clip on the back? Yeah, I guess it, it literally just kind of sits there. Huh, it's not as wobbly as I expected. That's not bad, huh? That I will say, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised by. It's not very wobbly. Uh, but again, I'm not I'm not gonna be using cables on it too often. So guys, there you go. There's my PlayStation 5 unboxing. Not a bad looking console, but not amazing looking in my opinion. Um, this is generation one of the PlayStation 5, and I think it's just gonna get even better uh, from here on out. So guys, there you go. Have you played the PlayStation 5? Ironically, I'm more I'm more excited about the dual sense than the actual like console design itself. I just I just want to play games and feel what everyone's been talking about because apparently, per my research, the innovation and technology that was put into this console is incredible. Like absolutely freaking incredible. And um sorry guys, I had to remind you once again. I'm not going to be using this on my gaming channel, ironically. Uh this is not a gaming channel console for me yet. This is purely for me. You know, I just want to put it in my living room and enjoy some 4K gaming because I have been loving that with my Series X. So I hope that experience um, continues over to the PlayStation 5. So guys, there you have it. There is my unboxing of the PlayStation 5. Let me know, do you have a PlayStation 5? Have you found one? And if you did find one, how much did you pay? Please make me feel better. I mean, hey, I will say $800. Yeah, that's a lot of money. 
But if you want the optical drive version, you know, the actual PlayStation 5 disc version, eBay sellers are seriously asking for like a thousand dollars. So gee, eight hundred dollars or a thousand? I'll go for the eight hundred. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate your support. And please, if you're not subscribed already, subscribe right below. It's free because my next unboxings are right behind me. So with that said, I'll see you over there. Peace.